Hey, what's up, everyone? Today, I'm doing an old school Uber Nick live commentary. I genuinely cannot remember the last time I did one of these where I sat down, recorded myself playing the game and just talking about some good old Halo. It literally feels like it's been well over a year, maybe even two years since I last done one of these. So that's going to stop. I miss doing these a lot. So now that I'm in the US, I'm comfortable, I'm chilling. By the time I get back to some good old live commentaries. So for today's video, let's pick what Spartan I'm going to wear. I think I'm feeling my Mark 7. Leave in the comments. What do you think of my Mark 7? If the answer isn't 10 out of 10, then I think you're lying to yourself. Let's be real. Let me know as well, what core are you guys rocking nowadays? Are you a Yoroi kind of person? Do you still like your Mirage? What's your go-to armor core in Halo Infinite? I think I'm going to play some Squad Battle. Squad Battle has definitely been my go-to playlist as of late. The fact that 343 are consistently updating it with new maps is also just a massive... Wow, that was the fastest game I've ever found. The fact they're updating this playlist on a regular basis makes me very happy. So if you do enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below and subscribe. I am dangerously close to 119,000 subscribers. So we've been active. Thomas, the editor, has been killing it. Let's keep up the good momentum. Also, if you look in the top left of your screen, you'll be able to see my rank. Halo.API was able to create a really cool tool that basically tracks my XP as I play and it updates automatically. Yeah, Squad Battle, as I said, has become by far my favorite playlist in this game. It just, it's everything I enjoy in some good old Halo. I like 12v12. I think it's fun. I th oh, I'm already dead. That's so frustrating. Yeah, I like 12v12. I think it's fun. I think it fits well within Halo. But in v it, it just feels more manageable. It just feels not just as chaotic. Almost like I'm able to breathe a little bit while playing the game, which is quite nice. Hey, there's someone behind me. Hold on, hold on. Ooh. I heard your scream. Oh, we had the same idea. All right, worked out. But it really does feel like 343 are on a bit of a roll with updating the game as of late. So obviously the first year of Halo Infinite was not that stellar. You know, everyone thought it was a good game, but it just was missing the content. You know, it was missing that extra spice that we needed to truly make it a great Halo game. But 343 seem to have finally kind of got their foot in the door a little bit. They finally have got the momentum, the ball rolling with updating this game on a regular basis. Is the game perfect? Is it complete? Am I 100% happy with every aspect of the game? No, 100% not. I don't think 343 would even say that they're 100% happy with the game just yet. But it is getting a lot better every single time they update the game. The fact that Squad Battle has been so well received people are enjoying it so much and the fact they're updating and adding maps to it just kind of shows that it might be a long-term plan it's something that is going to stick around for a while longer i saw a lot of people you know kind of scared and fearing that it would just be a rotational playlist you know it would be here for like two weeks or a month whatever the rotational playlist lasts for and then it would be gone but i assume so many people are playing and enjoying the playlist that 343 just can't really justify getting rid of it you know, if they have something that is so hyper popular and, you know, getting players onto the game, why would they ever remove it? That would make zero sense and it would upset people more that it would make them happy by playing a different playlist. Hello, where are you? A fusion call is going to annihilate me. Oh, okay, we're good. And overall, the season updates have been getting better and better. In my opinion, I think season four is truly the kind of final stage where Halo Infinite kind of met my expectations for launch content. And what that means is I think Halo Infinite is finally at the stage where if it came out this way, I would have been fairly happy. You know, still missing a few things. Obviously, a PvE mode like Firefight or something would be the cherry on top. But all the leaks we've been seeing are kind of pointing towards that coming in Season 5. So I really hope that's true. I don't put too much weight into leaks, to be honest with you, just because I don't want to be disappointed. Ah, got him. But everything really is pointing towards our fight coming in season five which is very very exciting if they can get a cool pve experience in this game in a somewhat timely fashion now that we've got career progression and stuff i think people will be very very happy they have a oh they had a grapple this almost doesn't feel fair i need a teammate to come grab this flag i don't want to get on my wasp this is one of those tough predicaments where i could play objective or i could give up the wasp to the enemy so these might need my team to come do their thing. Help me, team. Help me. Sir, leave me alone. Oh, my kill attack. 
This might not end well for me. This might not end well for me. Yep. Okay. Oh, well, I had a good run. I'll take it. But I want to ask all of you this question. Besides the PvE mode, what do you think is most important that 343 focus on adding to this game to really finish off the Halo experience? And before you say networking fixes, trust me, that is by and far probably 343's biggest task. That is the thing that they want to store out the most. I don't think anyone at 343 is sitting there thinking to themselves, yeah, I'm okay with our players teleporting across the map. That's fine. If it was a simple fix, it would have been done by now. It's really unfortunate that it has not been solved yet, but hopefully they're still working on it. Hopefully they can resolve it to some degree. I'm quite lucky now that I've moved to the US, my connection is so much better than what it was in the UK. So I do feel for people in Europe or just anyone that's not in the US playing this game because honestly, it can be fairly rough. And if you've never experienced it, you don't really fully understand what it's like. Well, they picked up the flag for one pixel. But I gotta say, these Forge maps are absolutely astonishing. Putting so much support into Forge in this game was such... What? That missed? Just look at this. fact, this is Forge. And by the way, I'm playing on all low settings. Streaming this game on one PC just is an impossible task near enough. So the fact I'm playing on low settings and it still looks this damn good is just mind-blowing to me. So I'm really excited to see what more maps people come out with, what other squad battles maps we potentially get in the future, because this is just amazing. I mean, look at this. You can literally shoot the stalactites and they come down and crush people. Like, that's Forge! I can't believe it. It's honestly just so cool. And what's really cool is Forge Hub, I believe, runs community-ran Forge events. So basically, they pay people prizes to make the best Forge maps they can. Pretty sure they just started a $20,000 BTB Forge competition, which is insane. They're not even working with 343. This is just fans putting up $20,000 to make badass Forge maps. Say what you will about Halo, but the community is absolutely insane. Sometimes in bad ways, most of the time in good ways. I don't let social media mix up my opinion of the community too bad. We're all just a very passionate group, okay? That's, that's one way to look at it. We're a very passionate group and we all just love Halo. All right, I don't want this team to win. I'm going to try and intercept or fly. Oh, wait, I'm right here. This is my time to shine. All right, I'm going to go for a really risky route. I'm going to walk. I'm currently chilling. See, the tactic is if I don't run... Uh, I don't run, then I will not appear on their map and they have no idea where I am. So I just need my team to cover my butt on this slow walk back home. I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. I just need protection. My heart is actually pounding. I'm not, not gonna lie. I'm right here. I'm right here. Let's go. <laughs> it actually worked. I can't believe it. For those of you out there that say Uber Nick never plays objective, well, Screw you, all right? That's all I gotta say. I don't play objective most of the time because honestly, it doesn't work most of the time. So I feel very happy with that one. Hey, I don't wanna say I clutched up and won that for us, but I clutched up and won that game for my team. Um, Every time I see that panning shot, I literally think I'm playing on Valhalla. This uh, map is pretty scarily accurate to the original. That helmet, dude, what the? It looks like a chimney. That Spartan looks like a chimney. I gotta say, I find myself playing this game even more than what I already was now that I have the career progression to kind of go after. Something about the number go up just really makes my brain happy, <laughs> which makes me kind of sad overall. I really wish that I wasn't entertained by such a basic idea. But the fact that I don't have a million XP yet really does upset me and I truly feel like I'm uh, kind of doing a bad job as a Halo content creator. I mean, I Spiteful, he's already a hero. He literally already has hit max rank and I don't even have a million XP yet. Oh my goodness, I never, ever, ever fly Banshees. So we'll see how this goes. Nope, not good. Not good, ever. Side note, I really feel like the Warthog turret needs some kind of nerf. I don't know if it needs like an overheat mechanic or something like that, but every time it even looks in my direction, I'm dead before I can think. Whenever I get in the Warthog, I blow up immediately. Hey, Mr. Chimney. But I've been thinking to myself ever since Spiteful did hit, you know, hero rank, what kind of reward are 343 going to add? Because if you didn't know, 343 did say that they are working on a, you know, at a reward for hero rank. Because currently all you get is like a little nameplate or whatever, which isn't that exciting. It's honestly pretty boring. Not gonna lie, low key, if they added like Chief's armor from the campaign, that would be awesome. Would they ever do that? I don't know. They seem to have this thing about not putting Chief's armor in multiplayer. Oh, there was two of you there? Okay. All right, that's it. I'm getting in the Wraith. 
I don't know how this is going to go. If you've watched my videos for any amount of time, you probably know I'm not the biggest fan of Reyes. Me and Reyes, we have a we have a pretty weird past overall. We just don't get on that well. Do I just suck in them? Most likely. Yep. Yep. Oh, I got him. What a direct hit. <laughs> you know, could have done better, but I'll take that one kill every day of the week. Oh, the translocator. All right. Let's see if I can do anything with this at all. See ya. Oh. Oh. I was never there. I'm off the scene. <laughs> oh. I'm toying with my food. No, dude. <laughs> uh, I confused them so bad. And whenever the translocator actually works and it doesn't, you know, kill you after you teleport, which has happened to me numerous times, it is very, very fun. You know, this game started off really bad, but we're slowly making a comeback. Got their sniper. Wraith, protect me. No, man. That's so unbelievably frustrating. Let's go, team. We can win. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe we won. I'm not going to lie. I really thought it was over after the beginning of that game. Ah, I was hoping I would get this map. This is potentially my favorite Halo 4 BTB map. And the fact that it's been recreated so perfectly in Forge just makes me so happy. I really hope they keep up this momentum of adding new maps to Squad Battle. Even if they rotate out older ones and, you know, keep kind of the flow of maps kind of fresh, I'd be happy enough with that. I don't think we need to have like 30 maps in the place at one time. If you just had a, a nice solid group of maps to keep rotating through, I think that would be uh, really, really awesome. Ah, they had too many snipers. But all in all, I am very excited about the future of Halo Infinite. I really do feel like 343 are on a good track, finally. It's taken them their sweet time, but game development isn't easy, I guess. But if they can keep giving us good seasons that, you know, aren't delayed too bad, I think season five might be a little bit delayed, but it's only by like a couple of weeks or maybe a month max. I can live with a month max. If it's, you know, a six month delay, that one hurts a little bit. But if they can keep the game feeling fresh and adding new stuff to it on a regular basis, then I am a happy gamer. Ooh. Let me just grab this sniper. No, you're one shot from dying. That's so sad. There we go. Destroyed, finally. No, we just have to get one. That's all we need. There we go. Nearly got it. Let's go. Oh my god, my teams are clutching up so much today. I can't believe it. And sneak by. Sorry. Yeah, if there was another BTB, like classic BTB map, I would love to see return into this playlist. Avalanche from Halo 3, I think, would uh, be top of my list. I just think Avalanche is a fantastic map. It's super fun as well and would fit right into this game. No. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna get the triple. Let's go! The team dominated. Oh man, I've been playing pretty good today. I haven't, you know, done a little live commentary in a minute, so I'm pretty happy with how I've performed today. Slowly making my way to hero. One game at a time. Okay, everyone, I think that's going to do me for today's video. I had an absolute blast sitting down playing some Halo Infinite, just kind of going over my thoughts on Halo Infinite currently, where it's at, and where it will hopefully go in the future. If you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're brand new. Make sure you reply to some of the questions I asked during the video. And if you want to see more live commentaries like this, then especially let me know in a comment. Yeah, I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!